Okay, so before getting started, it's going to take a quick look at what is a Postgres service file and why we want to use it uh, when we're publishing to LizMap. Um, the Postgres service file, the purpose of it is to allow us to connect to our database using only a service name rather than putting the uh, full connection information in plain text into our QGIS file. And by referencing just the service name in our QGIS projects and on the server, uh, we're going to be keeping this information out of the actual QGIS file. Um, that's very important because a misconfigured Apache or QGIS server can result in your QGIS file being downloaded rather than rendered, in which case the, you know, the source information in the file would be visible to anybody who saw it. So what we're going to do is going to create a PG service, Postgres service uh, file on our LizMap server in the Etsy PostgreSQL common directory, and we're also going to create one locally on our desktop for use with QGIS. Okay, and because we're going to, uh, using the same service name, uh, both locally and on the server, um, the QGIS file that we'll be publishing will be able to locate the service properly. Um, finally, just one more thing here. Um, while we're going to just be creating a uh, demo one here, Using the actual LizMap database, obviously you'll want to, um, you know, have a, you know, create separate uh, databases for your reports. And a service file can contain any number of connections, any number of services. Um, we're just using the LizMap database and creating a single uh, connection in our service file just for demonstration purposes. Okay, so let's start by creating our Postgres uh, service file on our LizMap server. We're going to add an SSH uh, to your server. And we're going to switch over to the etc Postgres SQL common directory. Okay, and now we'll just use the cat command to create the service file. Let's go ahead and paste it in there. Okay, so the service we're creating is called DemoDB, and we're going to populate the host, port, DB name, user, and password. And again, as mentioned earlier, I'm connecting to the actual, actual LizMap database. You, you want to connect, of course, to post just databases that you've created, you know, for, for your map data. So that looks good, and let's just go ahead and control D, save that file. And now let's test our file to see if we can connect using the service name. Let's switch to user Postgres and do PSQL service equals demo DB, which is the name of the service that we created here. And it should take us straight to our LizMap database. There we go. Okay, and if you're not comfortable working from the command line as far as, you know, creating and editing files, uh, you can use the file manager in your control panel. Um, you can also use SFTP as well for, for a graphical interface. Okay, so now that we've uh, created and tested the service file on the server, we're going to create another service file locally on our desktop uh, for use with QGIS. Um, the contents of this file, um, depending on how you want to approach this, uh, will be uh, if you have a local PostgreSQL cluster running, you could just keep this as localhost. It would be identical to the one we created on the server. Um, I, the way I'm working is that I'm using the database on the server. So I'm going to set the host as this is the host for the LizMap server that, that I'm actually working on. <coughs> If you have Postgres running locally, and you prefer to you know work locally first, and then you know change over to production, you would just set this as localhost identical to the one that uh, we created on the server. Okay, and with the service file created, we just need to note the location where we created it. Here, I created it on my desktop in the QGIS uh, projects folder. And we need to, I'm on Windows 10, and we need to set a uh, environment uh, variable so that QGIS can find the service file, and we'll do that now. And we'll open Windows Control Panel and go to User Accounts, User Accounts, and then click on Change My Environment Variable, Variables on the left side there. 
and we're going to add a new variable and it's going to be pg service dial and and then we'll just go ahead and browse to where we created the file like so and click OK and OK and we should be good to go now okay so now let's go to open QGIS and go ahead and test our service file and make sure we can connect go to PostGIS, right click new connection and give the connection a name. I'm going to give it the same name as the service we chose demo DB and enter the service name demo DB and that's all we should have to enter here. And we enter the host port and we won't be prompted for the username and password. All that information is contained in the service file we created and go ahead and test our connection and we see a connection to demo DB was successful. So we're all set now. We've created a service file on the Lizmap server and a corresponding file on our desktop. Uh, they both have the same service name, uh, DemoDB, and we can now connect uh, to both databases via QGIS without having to enter the uh, plain text information into our QGIS files.